Hello and welcome to Daily Current Affair Booster. And if you're preparing for IES, CDS, FCAT, NDA, or CAPF, this video is gonna be really helpful for you because here we discuss all the important news snippets from Indian Express, The Hindu, All India Radio, and PIB. So today's date is 27th November of 2018. So let's have a quick look at all the important articles and quiz questions that you have to discuss today. So the first news is about National Cadet Corps. So they recently commemorated or celebrated their 70th anniversary. So what you need to understand here is the whole goal is to allow the students from schools and colleges to join NCC, learn the discipline, which is very much prevalent in the forces also. Also, the motto of NCC is unity and discipline. And you'll find the headquarters in New Delhi. So the next question is which of the following cities is selected as a venue for the first ever India Russia strategic economic dialogue. So this will be of the first kind between India and Russia and this will be held in St. Petersburg. So this is basically located in Russia. You can read about more in this particular slide. Moving forward, this is an article about Zoological Survey of India. They have released a new report. This is based on Andaman and Nicobar. So the major focus is on the faunal side. That means all the organism that they live here, say the animals here, all those them will be recorded right over in this particular report. And what we need to understand from the statistical point of view is the geographical area of Andaman Nicobar is less than 0.25. But if you talk about the biodiversity within their organism, it's more than 10%. So that is something very much interesting. That means most of our biodiversity lives in Andaman Nicobar. And the next thing that we need to understand here is there are particularly six vulnerable tribal groups here you can name them great andamanis are there ongis are there jarvas are there sentinelese nicobaris shompins all these tribes live in andaman nicobar and if you talk about their culture they are very much different from the normal tribals here because they usually don't interact with the normal people say they are even they you most of them are usually uh moved from african region and they avoid all kind of contact from normal people and also there is a particular area which is known as RAP. RAP stands for restricted area permit that means normal people cannot enter there unless and until you have the right amount of permit to enter it. So if you understand recent controversy related to John Chow who actually entered the Sentinel's island so he was not supposed to enter it he actually illegally entered there. So that's the reason he has to pay for it. Also coming to Zoological Survey of India. So this was established in 1916 and its headquarters is in Kolkata. And the most important thing that you need to understand here is its parent organization of Ministry of Environment, Forest, Climate Change. So they might just give you a statement some whether Zoological Survey of India is a part of Ministry of Heritage or not or culture or not. So you might understand here that it is just a part of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Following which the next question is, in which of the following states will be the first ever autism township be built here? So you basically have four options here, West Bengal, Odisha, Assam and Punjab. So recently this was actually uh, announced by Mamta Banerjee. So this is basically located in West Bengal. So the next article is basically about Shastra Seema Bal. So they are going to patrol in Dudwa Tiger Reserve. So where exactly is Dudwa Tiger Reserve? So this is located in Uttar Pradesh. So this is basically known for the tigers and the uh, deers which are found here. So why exactly SSB or uh, Seema Suraksha Bal here is going to have vigilance over here? So we understand a lot of poachers are actually trying to kill the tigers here, the, uh, the animals who live here. So in order to maintain that no amount of poaching is happening in this particular national park, they are actually going to bring in the SSB here. Also, you can uh, what you can read more about is is about uh, Shasta Sima Bal. So this is just a part of CAPF, that is Central Armed Police Force. So the exam is also conducted by UPSC, and they are directly uh, up under the Ministry of Home Affairs. So this was founded in 1963, and the headquarter you will find it in New Delhi. So the next question here is which of the following state government has recently released a lexicon? Lexicon is basically just like a vocabulary for 21 rare tribal languages. So these la tribal languages, as you understand, because if the tribes are no more there, their languages and culture actually end with them. So which of the following state have recently taken some action regarding them? So the answer is about Odisha. So as you understand here, uh, you can see the CM here, Patnaik sir. So he is basically uh, releasing the lexicon which actually going to uh, uh, have all the important tribal languages which are found in Orissa. 
Following with, this is the news about International Day of Elimination of Violence Against Women. So this was celebrated on 25th November. Now let's try to understand what's the use of it. So as you understand, there were recent campaigns known as Me Too campaign. The whole purpose was to actually empower women and make sure there's no sexual harassment against them. So we need to understand any kind of violence. It can be emotional, physical, should be avoided against all kind of women. So this, so make sure that there is a general awareness related to it. So this particular day was celebrated. Also you need to understand this was directly related to memory of Mirbal sister was actually assassinated so they are basically activists and also what you need to understand here is the UNGA that is United Nations General Assembly actually validated this particular date for International Day of Elimination of Violence Against Women since 1999. And the next news is about uh, the statue of Buddha this is the second tallest one which was actually inaugurated in Bihar by Nitish Kumar. Following with the next question in which one of the following countries have recently launched a satellite named Marathon which was directly related to integrate all the Internet of Things. So we basically have four options here and the right answer is are all with a friend Russia. So the whole purpose of actually launching the satellite is as you understand Internet of Things that means they are trying to connect most of the devices using the Internet connection. So to make sure and ensure that we can use it so Russia is actually going to launch it and it's named as Marathon. And the next thing is Titli Cyclone. So this cyclone actually hit the Orissa court recently. So in recently also there's one more cyclone which is known as Gaja Cyclone which usually is supposed to hit the Tamil Nadu region. So what you need to understand here is Titli Cyclone has been named as the rarest of rare. The reason why it was named is by the regional integration multi-hazard earning warning system was because the recurvature of the landfall. That means when the cyclo cyclone actually started it wasn't even predicted that it could be such devastating. Also because of the unpredictable feature which was involved in Titli it was considered to be the rarest of rare case also what we have understood after this is Odisha state disaster management authority was not very much ready for it even though it was claimed in newspapers saying that we are ready but when they actually cyclone hit we actually found most of the people got affected by the particular cyclone Moving forward, if you want to study about, say, the uh, RIMES here, so it is basically an intergovernment organization within Africa and Asia region who actually help in early warning system in case of any kind of disaster which happens. Following which, this is news about our uh, Ministry of External Affairs, Sushma Swaraj, meeting uh, the counterpart in the Maldive region. So as you understand, recently there were election and the president is Ibrahim Soli there. So our relation is going to improve. So in order to make sure this relation keeps on improving, we are trying to have a lot of talks with Maldive and that's really important. And you can see the location of Maldive right over here on the map. Following which the next question is which of the following Indian shuttler recently uh, got the title for 2018 Sayed Modi International Badminton Championship. So you basically have four options here and the right option over here is Samir Varma. You can see him on, even on the picture here. So he recently got the title in this Sayed Modi International. So what they might even ask you is recently there was a tournament known as Sayed Modi International Championship. So which sport is it related to or who actually won it? If you are asking who won it is basically Samir Varma. And the next article is about uh, yesterday's date. So it is 26 November. So this particular day is celebrated as Samvidhan Devas or Constitution Day of India. The reason why it is actually named it is because it's, it's the same day when we actually adopted our constitution. And if you talk about when it actually came into effect, it came in 26 January of 1950. So also we need to understand the contribution done by all our freedom fighter, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, everybody has contributed a lot when it comes to building our constitution. Also what we need to understand here it was earlier known as national law day and coming to the importance of the whole day the constitution will now be available in the braille also so that people who are visually impaired can also now understand constitution very easily so the next question is about who became the first Indian to build a gold in senior Commonwealth fencing championship in 2018 at Canberra. So Canberra is basically located in Australia. So you basically have four options here and the right option is Bhavani Devi. So she's actually uh, participated in this particular fencing championship and she actually won the gold medal. So just remember her name, her name is Bhavani Devi and also CDS and CAPF, they might just give you a name saying Bhavani Devi and which sport is she related to? So she is basically related to the fencing.
so that's all for today guys just uh, revise everything that we have studied today so we studied about bhavani devi she is related to fencing followed which we uh, understood the importance of constitution day which is celebrated on 26th of november following which we discussed about samir verma who actually won the sayed modi international badminton championship then to in order to boost the relation between india and maldives recently maldives foreign minister actually visited india that's exactly what you see here and next titli cyclone has been named as rarest of rare cyclone which has ever witnessed within india and the next thing is about the marathon it is basically a new satellite launched by russia followed which we understood about the second tallest statue of buddha which was actually inaugurated in rajgir that is located in bihar and the next thing is about the 25th november international day for elimination of violence against women and then we understood the which was the first day to actually decide a vocabulary or a lexicon for the tribal languages it was done by odisha government following which we discuss about the role of ssb that is shastra sima bal when it comes to providing protection in this particular tiger reserve that is known as dudwa tiger reserve and this is basically located in uttar pradesh following which we understood about the first autism township that is going to come up in west bengal and then the zoological survey of india report about the biodiversity which exists in andaman and nicobar followed which we understood where exactly is the venue for the first india russia strategic economic and that's located in saint petersburg and then we understood about the 70th anniversary of ncc so that's all for today guys thank you and have a nice day jai hind